guys, it's Abby from Make Life a Runway, and we're just gonna jump right into my weekly makeup basket. I hope you guys are doing well. If you wanna see me shop my stash for makeup to use in the upcoming week, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, do you see this beautiful thing in front of you? And then you see one in the background. So I bought this for $20 off Amazon. I will link it down below. It's a four drawer acrylic makeup holder and I accidentally bought two, hence the one in the back. They were only $20 and I was hanging with my girlfriends, talking, drinking wine, and placing an Amazon order and clearly not paying attention to what I was doing. And I thought about taking the second one back but it's like $6 returning fee or what, or for the label or whatever for Amazon. So I'm like, I might as well just keep it. It was only $20. So that is in the background. But you guys, um, hopefully you watched my video on Tuesday, which was me cleaning and rearranging this room. Um, there'll be a part two coming up Tuesday that kind of goes through the actual stuff in the room. As you'll see in the upcoming video, I'm not fully satisfied with how the drawers look. I think I just need more storage and more decluttering and just more thought put into how I want everything to be. So um, I wanted to get this to clear out a drawer because I just had junk sitting out and I didn't, I just didn't like it. So I thought this would be great to hold all my weekly makeup and my project pan items and it looks cute sitting on my desk. So the first, these are all items I pulled last week so the video will be linked down below. So this is um, base products and they're mostly project pan. Um, here are like the bronzer, highlight, blush, that kind of thing. Um, here's everything eyes. <laughs> and then the last one is um, whoop, my holy grail hourglass and then just the lip products I pulled. So we'll see how this goes. It's definitely easier to just open a drawer and pull out products like I had been doing. But um, we'll play with it and we'll just see what happens. So I'm going to angle you guys down and we're going to shop my stash and we're going to put these items away as well. Okay, so last week I actually got a lot of use out of the products I pulled and we spent a couple of days, well maybe like five days, out of town visiting um, Jared's family and my best friend had her first baby so we went to visit her, um, the baby is only three weeks old. She's so precious. Um, so I ended up using a lot of the same makeup and I'll talk about those products as we go through the categories. Um, but I'm gonna put back um, some makeup. So we are going in order here. So we're gonna put back this NARS Orgasm blush. This is the liquid blush. And I actually, I didn't take it with me, but before I left, I used it for a couple of days and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna have to pull it again soon, especially this summer, um, but not this week for sure. And I actually, um, I start going back to work on Monday, so I'm just trying to figure out like my new routines. Last year, um, I kind of had this routine where on the weekends I would do everything like clean my house, film YouTube videos, meal prep, grocery shop, laundry, all that stuff, and it's just, it's too much to do in two days, and I feel like I'm not relaxing during those two days, so I'm trying to find new routines, and um, ah, I don't know. So with that said, I am going to pick few products because I just don't want to be overwhelmed. I really want to get used out of using the products I pick and um, part of the new routine is using this beauty box or it's not really a beauty box but this acrylic thing. Um, change, change is good but sometimes it's confusing um, but yeah so we're gonna not pull so much and also I'm getting back into Project Pan so the rest of the year when, with my weekly makeup baskets I'm gonna strongly consider what is in my Project Pan and make sure I don't pull from those categories so it might be um, less up from every category but we're still we're still here doing the weekly makeup baskets because I love you guys and it's just good I know you guys love these videos so for the blush um, I picked the NARS and then this note this came in BoxyCharm and Desert Rose guys this is pigmented whoo whoo use a light hand and tap it off but it is super pretty um maybe a fall late summer fall color but I'm gonna put it back here um 
it's going to take me forever to rotate through all these. So if things are like looking like it's going to be weeks before they're pulled, I'll just grab them. Like this isn't like, this is just more of a guide. We don't have to get too crazy here. But the next blush up is Tarte. You guys know this. This is Tarte Exposed. That is what it looks like. A really pretty um, nude color. Yes, this one is so easy to use. It has like pink tones to it, but um, as you can see, it layers up nicely. So that's with one wash, and I usually end up putting a couple of coats down um, right there. Looking good. You can't really see it, but it looks good. There you go. You can see it a little bit. Blushes and bronzers never really swatch that well, but that's gonna be the blush we pick and. That is honestly going to be everything from this drawer, so let's go down to the next. Alright, so here we are. We are going to skip bronzers because I am panning the butter bronzer. I'll link that project pan down below. But for highlight, I pulled the MAC. This one is Oh Darling, and I did swatch these products last week, um, so I'm not going to swatch them again. But we're going to put that back. And I also pulled Physician's Formula. This is the Cream butter bronze highlight and this one is in pearl is that right yeah this is in pearl so we're gonna put this back as well and so we're gonna pull two we're gonna pull a powder and a cream so next up is the Lorac and this is in starlight I'm so excited this is back in the rotation it hasn't been very long since I pulled it last but I just really love how like intense it is and you can really sheared out so with especially um blinding highlights like this I will um put them on first and then my blush and it kind of like makes it more like a backlit type thing instead of like wow that's that's highlight on her face type situation but you can see like how crazy pigmented that is it's just so pretty and you can kind of see these two the blush and the highlight together it's just so, so pretty. So that is going to be the only powder highlight. And I'm not actually painting a highlight. I think painting highlights is something that, like, I'm just not capable of. I've tried so hard with the Laura Mercier one. And it's just, like, I don't know. I just can't. <laughs> but we are going to go back to the Stila. This is the Heavenly Hues and Kitten. And I really like putting this over my foundation and then adding like all the powder products. And sometimes I'll put it over powder products. It does wear nice that way. But um, I think my preference, honestly, is to put it on top of my foundation. It will focus. So you can see it right there. So pretty. Okay. Um, and honestly, guys... It's nice like having everything laid out in the rotation. It just makes this all so effortless. It's like, all right, next up, next drawer, let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. We're really d wearing different things if I'm not painting that category. So yeah, let's just go down to the next. All right, I'm so like indifferent or indecisive about how to organize the face drawer. So every time you see it, it's different. I'm just trying to figure it out. But one of the other items that I took with me on the trip that I got a lot of use out of was the um, Becca Sun Chaser palette. And I have finally decided that even at my most tan, this bronzer is just way too dark for me. I can't make it work. But I will always keep this palette for Opal Highlight by Becca. And then this blush is also super pretty as well. So um, I'm going to put this back in the very back. Ugh. And we're going to go with this um, highlight palette. I actually cheated. The NYX blush palette was up, but with me painting a blush, I wanted to just pull this highlight palette instead. And this is the NYX Born to Glow. And I think it's their only highlighting palette that they have. But it is so pretty. I really dive into this white shade and the pink shade. The rest are pretty, but... Um, they're kind of dark on me, so sometimes I like mix and match them, but because they're so dark, it's just I don't naturally gravitate, so I gravitate towards that, which is very similar to the um the palette the the Lorac Starlight 
And then this is more like a bronze. This is a gold. Yes, yes. And then we have the pinkish and a more like gold. I guess the other one's more like champagne. This is more like, I don't know, champagne gold. You can see this palette is like in its win it. Look how pigmented it is. I love it. And NYX products, they're like, granted you can always do the buy one, get one, 50% off, like with the 350 off coupon from Ulta, but like NYX products, like they, they creep up in price. So this I think is probably closer to the $20 mark, but I, I still like it and it was a gift to me by my good friend, Fran. <laughs> Danielle so I really like it and I'm happy to have it in my collection um and is that everything so I don't need a primer I don't need a powder and I'm not gonna pull a foundation I really want to focus on the one I'm panning and lips oh we need lips so I'm gonna put back this moon child that was a collab with Kathleen lights. Oh, let me turn some light on for you guys. Oh, yeah, that's better. So we're going to put this back. And I definitely want to gloss. So let's go back to my Buxom and let's do um, Sophia. This is one that I pull quite often. If I, I would love to own more of these glosses. Oh, my gosh, guys, guess what? It's been a month since I bought makeup. What? So pretty. I'm so proud of myself. Like, it was not planned. It's just one of those things that's like, Oh well, I, when was the last time I looked? I bought makeup and I looked at my Ulta account and I'm like, okay, look at me go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna switch out the uh, Jack Black lip balm. I do love these, but I have one that's almost empty that I want to grab and use up. It is the Natural Mint is my favorite of this kind, but they're all super good. Um, but I want to try to use this up since it's close to being the end of its life. And we're going to put back the Tartise Pro Glow that I pulled two weeks in a row and only used once, but I did enjoy using it. So we'll just go ahead and put that back. And honestly, I think that's going to be everything from this drawer. All right, here we are with palettes. So I pulled the Natural or Glam Metals from Crown. And I only used it once. I used this uh, Pop Rock color and I did really enjoy it. But we are going to put that back. And then also the palette from Crown. This is actually gorgeous quality. I really enjoyed using it. I am going to put it back and pull again later. But this was super nice. I'm going to put that back here. I'm telling you, BoxyCharm, they knocked it out with these two palettes. I really like the Alamar and this Crown, Crown Pro one. But let's see what we want to pull. We are going to do... Um, Wild at Heart, this Baked Blushes, and we're also going to pull, because that's kind of not really an everyday, well, I don't know, because I have that palette that lives in my drawer, the Maya Mia. I used this, um, last week, and granted I've been using it at least once or twice a week, um, but this is one that has been living in my drawer all week, and I feel like maybe it's in my head, but the formula is actually changing like it just wasn't that pigmented but maybe I didn't have a strong enough like base on it I don't know we're gonna keep playing with it it's one that I don't necessarily want to use up this year but I'm trying to get as much use because this I've had it for so long and the Anastasia palettes only have a six month uh expiration date and I've had it for like five years I don't know maybe not that long but it's been a while over three years for sure and so it's one I need to move out of my collection at the end of this year um, just for sanitary reasons. But I really feel like the formula is starting to fall off a little bit. But we're going to keep going. I love Warm Taupe and I love, um, what's this one, Glisten. Yeah, Glisten. Those are my two favorite in Sienna and Caramel. Like this little quad is my favorite. And then I just kind of mix in some of these other colors. So we'll try it. We'll keep going with it, and um, I'll stick to just mixing these two so I don't have a lot in my drawer. As far as mascara, I'm going to use the ones from last week and see my brow products. So I think, oh, oh, this was 
very sweetly gifted to me. This is one of the Tarte um, Chrome paints, and this one is in Top Yacht. Oh, guys, this is gorgeous. It's very, like, powdery. Like, you definitely want to maybe do your face makeup first with it, but it's as stunning as everyone claims it to be. It's very in-your-face, and I really do enjoy it. So we're going to pull this as well. But, yeah, I think that's going to be everything. All right, guys, here is what we're working with. So the very top, um, the base products didn't <laughs> the base products didn't change because, like I said, they're Project Pan. But I do like to keep the Steeler or whatever cream highlight I have with this category because, like I said, I put it on first. And then I have all like the bronzer, uh, blush, and highlights in here. Look how cute this all fits. And then um, all eyes. So the two palettes, the single, and then just the brow and mascaras. And then down here, I have been doing where I put on my blush, highlight, and bronzer straight over my foundation, which is like different, but I've been enjoying it. And then taking the loose setting powder and running it all over my face just to set whatever areas aren't set and to kind of blend everything together. So that's been going really well, keeping in the hourglass and then my two lip products. You guys guessed it, Jared's in the kitchen about to cook. Sorry. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to have. I think it's like brunch time, so I think sausage, egg, and cheese. I don't know. But anyways, um, everything has fit really nice. I think if I am good about not pulling too many products, that this will work really well. And then I just have my one Project Pan um, foundation, which is not my color right now. And then my setting sprays. I just wanted to keep those out next to it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.